<laughs> Here it comes. Boy, what I won't do for ice cream. <laughs> Here it goes. <laughs> Don't waste your time, Garf. Squeak, how'd you know I was up here? I know all, I see all, and I see that the ice cream truck will hit a pothole in the street, and a case of chocolate num-num bars with almonds will pop out. Chocolate num-num bars with almonds. Told you, I have developed the power to see into the future. <laughs> By the way, the garbage truck is about to come by, and when it hits the same pothole, you'll be covered with 30 pounds of rotten mackerel. You know, I always like a little smelly fish with my chocolate num-num bars. Okay, now that I'm defished, I need to find out how Squeak did that. <sighs> you want to know how I know what's going to happen before it happens. John's doing chores. He's about to hit his thumb with a hammer. How could you possibly know? Ah! Oh. oh, that hurts! Ah! <laughs> I'll hide. He's going to come in and say, oh, I smashed my poor little thumb with that big hammer. <laughs> Oh, I smashed my poor little thumb with that <laughs> big hammer. Now he's going to trip over Odie. Odie, oh, look out. <laughs> and you're going to wander off wondering how I do this. <laughs> right again. You're wondering, too. Well, I'll let you in on the secret. I've been doing something you've been doing. That's right. In fact, you're doing it right this second. Come on. I've been watching the Garfield Show. John got this new satellite dish with all these new channels. And on one of them, guess what I found? Here it comes. Boy, what I won't do for ice cream. <laughs> yes. Here it goes. So you see, the reason I know what's going to happen before it happens is that I've seen this cartoon already. Yeah, really. John and Garfield, they don't know about this terrific channel. And they don't know I've been recording episodes and storing them on the video recorder here. The episode you're watching, it's a rerun. And I recorded it three weeks ago. Here, I'll jump ahead. I'll jump ahead. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Let's see what happens in the next scene. Squeak, I don't know how you predict the future, but... I know, I know. You want me to feed you my predictions and you'll become famous as the cat who can predict the future. Future, future. Deal. <laughs> That's coming up. I better get in there so I can be in that scene. Huh? Okay, here's my idea, Odie. I'll give out Squeak's predictions and I'll become famous as... The cat who can predict the future. future. Oh. Squeak. I don't know how you predict the future, but... I know, I know. You want me to feed you my predictions and you'll become famous as the cat who can predict the future. Future, future. Deal. <laughs> come on, Odie. Let's get to work. Uh -huh. Now comes the part where I give Garfield predictions and he passes them on to John. Garfield. I don't know how you knew that meteor was going to crash down to Earth, but you shoved me aside just in time. <laughs> and earlier, you guessed who'd win that soccer match, and you even knew the final score. <gasps> Is it possible you've become the cat who can predict the future? 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 Hmm. How did I know you were going to say that? What? The scientific community has been rocked by reports of a cat that can predict the future. In the last seven days, Garfield Cat has predicted the outcome of the American World Series, the outcome of the Indianapolis 500 Motor Race, and the outcome of the legendary Kentucky Derby. 
He also amazingly predicted that those three events, usually held months apart, would all, for some reason, take place in the same week. But perhaps the cat's most impressive forecast came to You're famous, Garfield. Exchange. I don't know how you do it. Tonight, Garfield's powers will be tested on a special telecast of the TV series Somebody's Got Talent. If he can indeed predict the future, he will win one million dollars. <laughs> 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 That's right! We'll win one million dollars! I'll win one million dollars. I'm going to get ready to go down to the station. Come on, Odie! Ready to go, Squeak? I'll meet you down there, Garf. There's something I gotta do first. Suit yourself. Just make sure you're there to give me the predictions so I'll pass their test. John probably thinks I'll spend the whole million on lasagna, but that's silly. I'll spend half on ravioli. I realized something. I realized I'd never watched the end of this episode. Here we go, guys. When we return home, we'll have a million bucks. I'll have a million bucks. I need to know what happens in the end so I'll know what to tell Garfield is gonna happen. What? Episode deleted? That can't be. I, I must have accidentally hit the delete button. It's gone. What am I gonna do if I can't watch the end of this episode? I know! This episode is on right now! It is! You're watching it, right? Well, then I can watch it. I just need to turn to the channel. The Garfield Show will not be seen, so we can bring you tonight's special edition of Somebody's Got Talent! No, no! We've been preempted! The show's not on! Quick, call the station and complain! <laughs> Oh, Garfield's gonna be so mad. And right now, that's the only thing I can predict. And now, the host of Somebody's Got Talent, Dr. Wippo. Uh, good evening. As usual, I'm joined tonight by the lovely actress, Kate Turkey Baster. I vote no. Not yet. Wait until there's an act on stage. And also with us is the famous food critic, Eddie Gourmand. Hello, world! That's right. I'm talking to each and every one of you. Ready to go on, Garfield? No. Where's my mouse? Tonight, our first contestant is a local cat who claims to be able to predict the future. I vote yes! Not yet. We've arranged a special test, which, of course, he will fail because it's impossible to predict the future. I just knew you'd say that. I vote no. You stay out of this. I have every right to say what I want to say. When do we vote? Can you talk? You don't know what you're talking well, about. How did you know that? that this is in All oh, right. Say, and I can even Come talk on. about food if I want. Can I get a word in here, please? <laughs> Gotta get there. <laughs> Garfield will be asked to predict which of the 52 playing cards I will draw from the deck. If he's right, he will win one million dollars. <laughs> and just to make things interesting, if Garfield is wrong, his owner, Mr. Arbuckle, will be dropped into this <laughs> vat containing 10 tons of rancid cottage cheese. Oh. I voted for soft frozen yogurt. Ooh, I love soft frozen yogurt. All right, Garfield. For one million dollars, what card did I pick? <laughs> Squeak, where are you? You have 15 seconds, Garfield. Squeak, how could you abandon me like this? I'm going to have to just take a wild guess. I'll pick the three of clubs. Huh? Uh-oh. I'm just going to have to guess. Uh, Jack of Diamonds? Time's up, Garfield. What card am I holding? <sighs> the Jack of Diamonds? No, I'm sorry. It was the Three of Clubs. Oh. <sighs> huh? Oh. Garfield!
Is John mad at you? No, not really. He did say, though, that the only thing he's going to feed me for the next year is rancid cottage cheese. Hey, Squeak, how did you make those accurate predictions? I've been watching the Garfield show. What? This show. It's on this great channel I found on the TV. Look. Whoa. Is John mad at you? You've just been watching this episode? Hey! Uh, squeak, when I get my hands uh, on you, yeah. Don't hurt me, Garfield. I'm sorry. I can't watch this show. I don't have any peanuts. <laughs> there. Peanuts. Huh? I can't watch this show. I don't have a Swiss cheese sandwich on pumpernickel toast. <laughs> there. Now I have my peanuts and my Swiss cheese sandwich on pumpernickel toast. Except that I don't have my peanuts. <laughs> no peanut breath. What? No peanut breath. <laughs> no peanut breath. But he did have a salami sandwich for lunch with a side of slaw. And speaking of sandwiches, I'm going to eat mine. And now my sandwich is missing. Odie? Swiss cheese sandwich, bowl of peanuts. Fine. Odie can be annoying at times, but a nose like that is handy to have around. Hibernate? Yeah, we're the kind of squirrels who hibernate. We sleep most of the winter. Sleep most of the winter? Oh, I like the sound of that. In order to do that, we have to eat an awful lot of food right now. Eating an awful lot of food right now? Oh, that's even better. You guys enjoy my sandwich and peanuts. I have some thinking to do. Huh? Hmm, hibernation. Why didn't I ever think of that before? An activity that combines my two favorite things in the world, eating and sleeping. <gasps> you want to go here for dinner? Albert's all you can eat? <laughs> now you remember what happened last time we went there. What makes you think they'll let you in again? <gasps> oh. <laughs> 
Hmm. <laughs> you know what might work? This is your first day with us, Chester. Do you know what your most important job is? Yes, Mr. Albert. To keep the buffet stock so our customers can eat as much food as they want. No! Your most important job is to keep this cat out. My family has operated this business for 47 years. It has never lost money, except for one Tuesday three years ago. He came in, and I almost had to declare bankruptcy. One cat did that? Not a cat. A stomach with fur. A vacuum cleaner with whiskers. <laughs> Do come in, folks. Help yourself to our scrumptious buffet, and remember, you can eat all you can eat. Oh, thank you, sir. <clears throat> I mean, um, we've never been here before. So keep an eye out for him, at all costs. I will, Mr. Albert, I will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ruined. I'm ruined. I'll have to close down, convert the business into a one-hour shoe repair shop. You people don't want to come in. All I have left is one tiny little black olive. <laughs> <laughs> Good olive. Oh, oh, me, oh, oh, my, oh, oh, oh. All right, time to start my hibernation. I'll set the alarm for March. Yeah, maybe I'll sleep in, get up sometime around, oh, let's say half past April. <laughs> oh, boy, what a snooze. This hibernation thing is a great idea. I hope I didn't miss springtime. Let's see, how long did I sleep? Nine minutes? Uh, maybe I need to store up more body fat for the winter. <laughs> All right, four months. I'm gonna sleep for four months. But wait, if I sleep that long, I'll miss all my favorite shows. No, I'll catch them in reruns. Hibernation time! <sighs> hey, Garfield! <laughs> I just wanted to tell you I'm going out to dinner with Liz. I don't want any trouble here while I'm gone. If there is, you're in big trouble. <laughs> How could I cause any trouble? I'm going to be asleep for the next four months. I love you. Sleep. No. I will not throw the stick so you can fetch it. Can't you see I'm hibernating? Come back, say, after uh, St. Patrick's Day. If I'm 
gonna sleep for four months. I'm gonna need some quiet. I try plugging my ears. And I'll put up this warning sign. <sighs> that got me so upset, I'll probably take forever to fall asleep. <gasps> Hi, Garfield! Hi, Garfield! Attention, Garfield! This is Nermal. Nermal, the world's cutest kitty cat. Go away, whoever you are. I'm hibernating until March. Wake me up and you'll be in big trouble. Wow. This goes double for you, Nermal. Awesome. I have the house to myself. <laughs> huh? Hey, oh, this oh, is oh, great, oh, Nermal. Oh, <laughs> 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 Cody, you're gonna be so sorry for waking me up. We gotta get him out of here before John comes home, or you know how mad he'll be. Yeah, about that mad. Uh oh. Okay, everybody out! Party's over! Garfield, I warned you! But I didn't. I mean, Nermal did it. I didn't. What? Are you going to try and make me believe you slept through all of this? Okay, everybody, time to start hibernating for the winter. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Garfield, are you planning to hibernate until spring, too? Might as well. It's not like John's gonna feed me before then. <sighs> now if I can just fall asleep. Now calm down, Odie. It's just a little shot. <laughs> What's the matter? Afraid of a shot, scaredy pup? Show a little bravery, why don't you? All done. <laughs> See? Now that wasn't so bad. But he was so terrified, so frightened. What a big baby. Say, while Garfield's here, we might as well give him his shot. Well, now there's a good idea. Save a trip back here. Just give me my shot. <laughs> <laughs> Garfield, come back here! <laughs> My 
my word! What is that ghastly noise? All done. Get me an attorney. Get me an attorney named Murray. Call the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to me. Call... All done? Huh? That wasn't so bad. Huh? Excuse me, who is the veterinarian? I am. How can I help you? Oh, well, you can't help me. <laughs> I'm Mrs. Van Gelt, and I'm so frightfully rich I don't need any help. But you can help poor Prince Orloff here. Hello, Prince Orloff. What seems to be wrong with him? He coughed. Twice, I'm afraid. Quick, get an ambulance. <laughs> <coughs> Prince Orloff's regular physician is away. I'm counting on you to cure my precious widow baby dumpling. Uh, Mrs. Van Gelt, I can already tell there's nothing wrong with your precious widow baby dumpling, except he needs to exercise. What? This is my cat Garfield. <laughs> he doesn't just sit around the house all day. He tries to. Well, I wouldn't want any cat of mine to turn out like... Like that. A cat needs to run and play. I'll have you know Prince Orloff's delicate paws do not touch ground. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe it's time they did. Well, I can see you're not the proper physician for Prince Orloff. Come, dolls! Let us take Prince Orloff home and put him to bed. Yes, madam. Can you imagine a cat living like that? Being carried everywhere and waited on all the time? Yeah, I'm working on it. Oh, I think I need to get home. Is Prince Orloff comfortable, Dawes? I placed him gently on the rear seat. Oh! I'm... I'm standing! I'm not on one of those silly pillows. And now... Oh, look at me, I'm walking. I am, I'm walking. Oh, mother, if only you could see me. I'm actually doing something for myself. You know, Oster, it sure would be great to have a life like that. Servants waiting on you, bringing you food whenever you're hungry. Here's your lunch, Garfield. Oh, and I washed and fluffed the cushions in your bed. Yeah, wouldn't it be nice to have someone wait on you all the time? Oh, it's awful! Huh? Oh, you feel so helpless, always dependent on someone else. What are you doing off your pillow? I couldn't take any more of being waited on like that. I don't ever want to live in a mansion again. Although, I am kind of hungry. Where do they feed you there? Well, last night we had lobster thermidor au crevette with a Mornay sauce and a raspberry tiramisu. Huh? <laughs> Here, try some of this. It's better. <laughs> that's... well, that's the greatest food I've ever had in my life. What's it called? It's a rare imported delicacy we call lasagna. Here, I have eight more coming out. Oh, go my goodness. So what do you do for fun? For fun? I thought so. Come on, I'll show you what the word means. Oh! 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 Whee! Let's do that again! <laughs> Whee! Harder, Odie! Push me harder! <laughs> You're supposed to watch him every minute! I'm sorry, Mrs. Van Gelt. I shall call the police. Your call is important to us, so stay alive. Tell them to search everywhere! My precious dumpling can't be alone for one second! Oh, this is wonderful! She never let me watch. Uh, what do you call this again? Television. 
Oh, she never let me watch television before. What is this wonderful program I'm enjoying so? It's called a deodorant commercial. Oh, I'll have to try that if I ever sweat. I'm going out. See you later, Garfield. Uh, see you later, Rody. Oh. See you later, Prince Orloff. <laughs> Prince Orloff! Ah! That, that, that woman who owns him is probably frantic. <laughs> Hello, Liz. Remember that cat they brought into your clinic? Uh, the one on the pillow? He's what, John? At your house? What is Prince Orloff doing at your house? Quick, huh? give us the address. <laughs> I'll take you down to Vito's and introduce you to the wonders of pepperoni and mushroom pizza. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm having so much fun, Garfield. I'm never going back to that mansion. <laughs> For some reason, I think you are. Never! Stop! We had to bring you back! Stop him! Bring my widow baby back to me! I'll bet he's going back to the park. Come on, Odie. We can take a shortcut. My baby! Why has my baby run away from me like this? More fun than watching deodorant commercials. Ah, he's up there. <laughs> well, we're gonna get him down. Now we're gonna do really well, it. We gotta get him. Prince Orloff, you come down from that tree right this minute! Oh, I climbed a tree. Look, look, I, I actually went out on a limb. <laughs> Madam, there's something off about Prince Orloff. He looks different. He does? Something about his face? I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> A smile? Why, why, yes, that's it. He's smiling. I've never seen him smile before. <laughs> Could he possibly be happy? That would be my prescription for your cat, Mrs. Van Gelt. A little less pampering, a little more life. Hey, uh, Sergeant, how do we write up a report on this? Yeah, we don't. The Chief would never believe it. We were right. He is smiling. Oh, my little prince. We have to make sure you get some fun in your life and you don't just sit on a pillow all day. Whee! Well, Garfield, looks like you helped rescue your friend from living in a mansion, being waited on, and never getting to get out and live. Yeah, I bet you'd hate a life like that, wouldn't you, Garfield? I said I bet you'd hate a life like that, wouldn't you, Garfield? I'm thinking it over. <laughs>
I'm cooking burgers out in the back, Liz. And Odie's playing with the squirrels again. <laughs> oh, and I brought my binoculars out so I could study any birds that... Hey, where'd my binoculars go? Let's see if there's anything edible going on in the neighborhood. Doesn't look like Mr. Fusilli's having pizza delivered. Nope. Mrs. Krell isn't baking pies and putting them on her window ledge to cool and mysteriously disappear. Hmm. Uh-oh, those guys again. Al and Pete, the worst dog catchers in the business. Yeah, we're doing great, boss. Catching strays all over the place. All it took was promising us that big cash bonus for everyone we bring in. Good. Remember, though, my offer expires this afternoon. Bye. Whoa, I can't wait to collect that money. Hey, there's one. <laughs> Hey, you guys. You couldn't catch a hot dog in a bun. Let's get him. Uh, technically, we can't. He's not a stray. He's on his master's property. Oh, well. Plenty more dogs and cats out there to catch. Let's go. <laughs> Amazingly, they actually seem to have caught some. Arrivederci, guys. Uh, are they gone? Myron, why are you hiding? They're hunting down every stray dog and cat they can find. They're getting bonuses for every one of us they catch. That's awful. But don't worry, Myron. I'll do everything I can to protect you and all the strays. Garfield, lunch is ready. Lunch? <laughs> Just stay out of their way. Bye-bye. <laughs> ha! Ha! Got him! <laughs> Keep playing with the squirrels, Odie. That means more lunch for a certain orange cat. But the squirrels, we have an emergency. Hurry! We need you down there. Huh? Bye! Garfield, how many burgers do you want? Well, how many you got? Huh? What? Must be my stomach. I haven't eaten since noon and it's almost 12.45. Help! This is a disaster! It sure is. I have six empty buns and nothing to put in them. I'm going to call the gardener, or a geologist, or someone! Whoever you call, see if he can stop on his way here and pick up some burgers. Uh-oh, I don't like this. Someone once said that cats always land on their feet. I'd like to have a word with that person. This is a tunnel. Who would dig a tunnel right under our house? Oh, oh my, oh my, this isn't good. I'm days behind schedule. Knock, knock, anybody there? You there, I must ask you to leave. This is a construction site and I must resume my digging. You're digging? What digging? I'm digging an underground expressway for my fellow moles. Huh? A network of them, actually. We have a hard time going from one place to another. The main reason being that we can't often see where we're going. See these lines? They represent tunnels that will allow moles to travel quickly and safely all over, I mean, under the city. And this is the tunnel I'm digging right now. <laughs> Great, isn't it? Not very. Your tunnel collapsed our entire backyard, and not only that, you ruined my lunch. 
Sorry, but there is a price we pay for progress. Back to work! Wait, we need to talk. Or not. Ooh. Mm. You know, John, doesn't make a bad hamburger. Mm. Those dog catchers have become cat catchers. <laughs> They're getting some big bonus for rounding up all us strays. You gotta hide me. I'm busy, Harry, but go hide behind the garage. What a pal. Whoa! <laughs> Get him! Oh, no! That big bonus is getting larger and larger. <laughs> Garfield, we need your help. Who doesn't? Someone's digging a tunnel that's destroying our tunnels, where we live. If he doesn't stop, we'll all have to move far away. <laughs> Don't worry, Odie. You won't lose your little squirrel friends. I've got an idea. I have to go draw up some plans, and then I'll put you Hey, Digger, I hope you're happy. The squirrels are going to have to move away. Sorry, but one cannot stand in the way of progress. Before you destroy our home, we thought you'd enjoy a little farewell show. Just to show there's no hard feelings. Mm -hmm. eh, I have work to do, tunnels to dig. <laughs> All right, all right, but only a short show. Okay, guys, here we go! Bravo, bravo! Uh -huh. Was amazing, but now I have to get back to work. Hmm. Okay, guys, show's over. Our friend has a tunnel to dig. <laughs> Bye. 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 Happy digging. Okay, let's see which way I dig next. Oh dear, I've been digging the wrong way. How terrible! I dug east when I should have dug west. Oh, now I'm really going to be behind schedule. Where's the new tunnel going, Garfield? Oh, you'll see. Let's see. Now I go left. I don't remember the route going this way, but maps are never wrong. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never get out of here. I thought Garfield would do something, but I guess he doesn't care about us. Oh dear, this can't be where I was supposed to dig. Oh, it's exactly where you're supposed to dig. <laughs> Come on! This one out has fleas. Where do you see how many dogs and cats we caught, boss? You're gonna have to pay us such a bonus. We'll see. We'll see. Uh. Yeah, right. Absolutely full. But, 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 but it was full. It was. You two are the worst dog and cat catchers I've ever seen in my life. You're fired! Turn in your nets and get out! 
Thanks, Garfield. We owe you one. We owe you a lot more than one. Always glad to help. And now I am hopelessly lost. Don't worry. Let me have that plan. I took the liberty of drawing up a new map for you, and I, uh, <clears throat> I even got it approved by the Mole Planning Council. Ooh, I have a lot of digging to do, but I won't stop until it's done. Bye, all of you. Where's he digging, Garfield? Yeah, where, where does the new tunnel go? Well, let's put it this way. In about 18 months, we'll be able to go down this hole and bring back Chinese food. Authentic Chinese food. <laughs> <laughs>